Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you guys how Wi-Fi syncing works in iOS 5. So, yesterday Apple released to developers iOS 5 Beta 2, and along with a few other stuff, um, it, it also included Wi-Fi syncing, which was previously a broken, I would say, feature on Beta 1. So, basically, what this allows you to do is synchronize your entire iPad backup and whatnot without having to have a cable on. So you can tell the transfer, the sync, Icon is enabled and there is no I no dock or cable, right? So this is all done under general and that's weird. So let's load it up again. Under general, you see iTunes sync, and as you can tell, I am currently syncing my iPad and it syncs it all up. And the thing you have to do is you have to have the new beta version of iTunes iTunes 10.5 beta 2 and there's a new option that allows you to sync over Wi-Fi connection. And again, my iPhone, which I'm currently using to record this, is not connected or anything. And, this, and it comes out, basically, the way it works is it, it, just imagine your iOS device was connected via cable, just that the cable doesn't exist, right? So all the same features and functions, pretty much. And well, I'm synchronizing it. It is, again, slower than synchronizing it with a cable, so if time is something you care about, I would recommend you use a cable because reality it doesn't it doesn't hurt using cable. And as you can tell there, I'm synchronizing music to my iPad, right? Classical music, please don't make fun of me. I know. So, um, besides that, there are a few other f new features on Beta 2 which I will go over in a few in a video in the future, right? But for now, I just want to show you how Wi-Fi sync works. And again, you have that pretty cool little animation in the status bar, so that's pretty cool. So thanks for watching the video, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.